Thermal energy is energy that is stored in hot matter. Any matter with a temperature above the absolute zero temperature has particles with kinetic energy that produce heat. Thermal energy is transferred from a hotter place to a colder one. Conduction is the transfer of thermal energy through a substance by the vibration of the atoms within the substance. To explain this more, if a metal is heated from one side, the particles in the heated hot side would have more kinetic energy. This kinetic energy would be transferred to the particles near them, mechanically. So these particles also gain kinetic energy and pass it on to the particles near them. This process happens throughout the entire substance. This process happens faster in metals because there are electrons present that can move freely throughout the structure. Convection is the transfer of thermal energy through fluids by the upward movement of warmer, less dense regions of fluid. Fluid refers to both liquids and gases. If we take water as our example, when it is heated, the heated water expands, becomes less dense than the colder surrounding water, and so it rises up to the top, creating vacant regions. The cold water sinks to the bottom, where it gets heated too, and rises to the top, where the warm water is cooling and becoming more dense and sinking back to the bottom. This sets up a circulating current called a convection current. There are many practical observations of convection. Convector heaters draw in cold air from the bottom and lets out hot air from the top, transferring heat to all parts of the room. Cooking ovens use convection to be able to heat foods at different temperatures. The microwave's heating element is at the bottom, so warm air rises due to convection. Convection can also be observed in the seashore. During the day, land heats up faster than the sea, so the air above land gets warmer and rises up, creating free space at the bottom, which is filled by cold, dense air from the sea. This is called onshore breeze. At night, land cools down faster than the air over the sea, so the sea is hotter than land, meaning air above the sea would become warmer and rise up. The vacant regions would be filled by cold air from the land. We call this offshore breeze.